grab that. Yeah. And down. And then come up here. There you go, and you come up here. Now up here, you know, here's your radiator. This thing turns, the reason this spins is to keep the dust and everything out of the combine, out of the motor, out of the radiator. Well, you notice that whole, this whole section was burnt off. Right. Well, you know, again, the majority of your fires start here in the engine compartment. Uh, from dust, you look at the soybean dust already gathered on it. It's only picked uh, maybe two or three hundred acres so far. You know, you got stuff from corn. You know, the husk in here wrapped around here it gets overheated. It goes up. Um, then it gets fired right in here. It travels over to this fuel tank. It's a plastic fuel tank, nothing steel anymore. To save money, it's lighter. Holds 200 gallons of diesel fuel. Actually, we use a soy diesel. So that right there goes up real quick. You know, because it's so close. Then you got your also your hydraulic tank over here, which is metal. It's your hydraulic oil basin. It flows everything. So that's another fire hazard there also if it gets hot and like we noticed on the one that was burnt up that one didn't leak so hopefully the steel uh, you know, it's gonna be a lot more fire resistant than this plastic will be so and I'm not sure about the time in which plastic melts or what temperature it goes but I'm sure the fire is flowing from the motor and it hits that plastic it's gonna be gone pretty quickly and then diesel fuel just flows all over it. the back is pretty much gone that's what happened to the last combine you know and then you got all your electronics here, all your computer stuff. For There's your radiators. Right in here's your actually your air conditioner and behind is your radiator. And these things are already expensive. I know Station 5 had a fire, I think last month or beginning of this month, uh, up in the 6's area, Mr. Vanderplug's combine, they caught on fire. So, and there's your batteries right there also. And your battery catch on fire, you know what happened when the battery goes up. Um, that's what happened, I think. That's what uh, Station 5 said there was a problem. Their combine was the battery kit was burnt off on it. And it set the dust and stuff on fire. And again, you know, there have been uh, grain tanks that actually exploded when weed dust fire caught on, you know, the weed dust caught on fire, blew a tank. Actually, in Virginia Beach, about five, six years ago, Frank Williams Farms, uh, he had a grain tank that blew up and a gentleman was killed because when the tank blew up, he was on top of a cigarette that lit the wheat dust. It blew up. He, instead of riding the wheat out, he grabbed onto a telephone post and it just covered them up and smothered them. So wheat is very flammable, wheat dust especially. All righty. We'll move on around to some other parts of the combine. We have markings here that will tell you where you can lift stuff up at and where you can't. When you open this up, you got a fire. Most of them have fire extinguishers on them here. They also have a couple in the cab. Some of them keep extra. Uh, as you saw in the last one, all this plastic stuff was burnt off. That was in the rotor. You just look and see the dust, especially right in there. Um, here's your belts. Um, again, on the older machines, your belts were your biggest problems. Uh, belt friction, you get a belt gone bad, you get stuff caught in the belts, they will light up in a heartbeat. Especially the 7000 series are really well known for catching on fire. Burnt several of them up around here, actually. Um, and again, if there's a problem, you know, whatever part of the combine is on fire, you shouldn't have any problem because the farmer's going to have all the shields off and going to be trying to do something himself when you get there. You know, again, just come out and say, hey, you know, pull the line, say, where can I help you? He'll either grab the hose from you or he'll tell you where to shoot it at. You know, so, you know, again, go defensive on it. You know, pull one line for the combine, one line for the field. It'll call for a water supply. Because out here we have no hydrants. You know, this new OSHA regulations, everything is covered up. And again, ask. You know, hey, you know, look around, ask the guy, hey, do we need to open this? Do we need to open that? You can open all those plastic covers right there, be right into the guts in the machine. You know, that's what they're there for. They've had several fires starting there in the guts also. For a header to catch on fire, it's really not that big a deal. Your problem with this is, and we're going to have a situation that if you're working in here and somebody hits the button, you're gone. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because this thing, you know, when it comes in, it's bringing you right in there. 
and, so, and that's another trap and that's another tech team uh, that's another course all by itself you know there's been a lot of people been brought into combines the thing is now John Deere's done a lot of safety they've done spent a lot of money in safety as soon as you get off the seat even the combine headers and gear the combine header automatically shut off like a lawnmower so that's the closest thing I can bring it to all your blades shut off on a lawnmower your head quits turning the machine cuts off so you know, they spent a lot because they've had a lot of accidents with that. So a lot more in the machine now than what you used to. It used to be you, you didn't have enough these you know, doors you can open up and look at them. As you can tell, we have hydraulic seats. Just like any big equipment, you can tell we got some hydraulic seats. This machine, you get a spark in a bad spot, the hydraulic oil, yeah, you're going up. So, But another thing, you can bring your hose around, you, you lift these covers. Again, you got a straight shot to the motor, to the hydraulic system. This is where you need to come to because this is the heart of the machine right back here. So this would be probably the primary place where you're going to have the fire at. Because again, the primary fires do happen in the motor compartment around the hydraulic area. Your fuel tank, got a good shot of the fuel tank through there. You know, you're good to go. Bring it, you know, open it up on a fog, inch and three quarters, you know, about 150, hit it. take them all off actually to get into any of them but I'm not going to worry about that but this like where y'all saw those round things at that's what this opens up into um, and you get any and most of the time you again the majority of your fires don't happen here the majority of fires happen over there on the motor compartment just like a vehicle right so 